Roger Penrose, The Emperor's New Mind, Concerning Computers, Minds, and the Laws of Physics, Oxford Landmark Science. Step into a fascinating exploration of the inner workings of the human mind, the mysterious world of quantum mechanics, and the limits of artificial intelligence in Roger Penrose's groundbreaking book, The Emperor's New Mind, Concerning Computers, Minds, and the Laws of Physics. As you delve into these complex but captivating ideas, Penrose challenges the view that computers can achieve human-like intelligence. Fusing together topics such as the nature of determinism, classical physics, mathematical platonism, and the indeterministic nature of quantum physics, this book will lead you on a journey to the very edge of the universe and back, giving you a fresh perspective on the age-old question of whether the human mind is computable. The Computability of the Human Mind In 1950, Alan Turing proposed a test to measure computer intelligence, but can computers truly think like humans? While strong AI proponents argue that a computer's imitation of human conversation is evidence of real intelligence, the author argues that the human mind is non-computable. Computability means that a problem can be solved through an effective computational program, but as Turing himself recognized, some problems are not computable. The Turing machine provides a useful measure of computability, but it cannot solve all problems. The question remains, can computers possess minds like humans do? Mathematical Platonism Mathematics is not just a human-made game, but it is firmly rooted in reality, according to Platonists. Mathematics is more like discoveries than inventions. Most mathematical ideas come about from these discoveries. Gödel's incompleteness theorem shows a God-given truth to math that we can't capture through logic alone, stating mathematical systems depend on fundamental assumptions that have to be taken for granted. Classical physics and its impact. The Greeks, Galileo, and Newton developed the classical theories of physics that explained the principles that governed the world. Newton's laws of motion became the foundation of modern physics, leading to Maxwell's equations that developed modern technologies. Furthermore, Maxwell's assertion that the speed of light is fixed, led to Einstein's theories of relativity, which transformed science. Einstein's theories appended established beliefs and resulted in a more rigid worldview, showcasing the impact of classical physics on modern science. Classical Physics and the Philosophy of Determinism the world of physics comprises both classical and contemporary theories. While classical physics presents a deterministic view of the universe, few contemporary theories match its superb standards of elegance and accuracy. The multidimensional arena of spacetime, precise mathematical laws, and the core philosophy of determinism are key tenets that classical physics has taught us. However, the implications for the human mind and free will may not be as favorable. As physics advances, classical physics theories continue to stay relevant while contemporary theories keep questioning our existing worldview. The Quantum Universe The classical theories of physics, such as Newton's laws of motion, were once believed to have the power to explain everything in the universe. However, when scientists began observing the behavior of tiny particles, a new set of theories had to be created to explain their mysterious behavior. Quantum mechanics was born, characterized by uncertainty and indeterminism. One of the most famous experiments in quantum physics, the double-slit experiment, reveals that particles can exist in two places at once and that our observation affects their behavior. The implications of quantum mechanics leave us with many questions but also exciting possibilities. Quantum indeterminacy the paradox of Schrödinger's cat is a famous thought experiment that highlights how classical physics and quantum theory cannot be reconciled. In the macro world, there is only one definitive outcome, whereas in the quantum world, alternative possibilities can coexist. Scientifically, this conundrum is addressed by two mathematical methods, R and U. However, how they operate together still puzzles researchers. According to the author, Solving this mystery could lead to a better understanding of the universe, the mind, and time. Specifically, the author believes that art is time asymmetric, 
which could break the time symmetry of classical theories of physics and allow us to solve the mystery of time. Quantum mechanics and the complexity of the human brain. The human brain is much more intricate than a computer and operates via specialized nerve cells called neurons. These neurons transmit information through synaptic connections that are continuously changing, allowing for brain plasticity. The complexity of the brain and the randomness of its synaptic connections suggest that it may not operate in a strict, deterministic manner as classical worldview suggests. The author proposes that quantum mechanics may play a crucial role in the way we think and gives rise to a single consciousness. The human brain is an extremely complex organ, with a design that far surpasses that of a computer. At its most basic level, white matter sorts and relays signals while gray matter processes them. The cerebral cortex, the outer surface, is responsible for higher cognition and complex computation and is much thicker in humans than in other animals. The brain has designated areas for different senses, and all information is combined in the frontal lobes, which executes our plans, and puts them into action. The brain operates through neuron cells, which transmit signals and chemicals through synaptic connections to other neurons. Unlike a computer, these synaptic connections are random, redundant, and constantly changing, leading to brain plasticity. It remains a mystery how these changing connections give rise to a single consciousness. This complexity suggests that the brain may not operate in a deterministic manner as classical worldview suggests. The author believes that quantum mechanics may play a crucial role in the way we think and gives rise to a single consciousness. Quantum Physics and the Mystery of Consciousness the book explores the possibility of a link between quantum physics and human consciousness, focusing on how neurons triggered by single quantum events could affect the brain's structure and function. The author presents the idea that consciousness could be linked to the parallel alternatives that coexist in the quantum universe. This implies that there's much more indeterminism, uncertainty, and mystery at work in the brain than proponents of strong AI would like to believe. The author believes that this act of observation is what we perceive as consciousness, and that consciousness gives rise to a type of intelligence that computers will probably never achieve. In conclusion, The Emperor's New Mind presents a compelling argument against the notion that computers can achieve true human-like intelligence. Through the rigorous examination of topics such as classical and quantum physics, mathematical platonism, determinism, and the intricate functioning of the human brain, Roger Penrose reveals the profound and unique nature of human consciousness. By drawing connections between the uncertainty and indeterminism present in quantum mechanics and the complexity of consciousness, Penrose proposes that our minds may be fundamentally non-computable. As a rich and thought-provoking exploration, The Emperor's New Mind, We'll leave you with a deeper understanding of the extraordinary qualities that distinguish the human mind from even the most sophisticated, artificial intelligence.